People think when you're talking about Kardashian style makeup, it has to be extreme. I completely disagree. I absolutely love the elements that the Kardashians have used to almost carve out their own beauty genre. And today we're going to be doing a very natural take on a classic Kardashian makeup look. So this is the finished final result. Let's get this party started because I'm gonna do a um, full makeup tutorial. I like to start with some 24 karat gold hydrogel eye masks, especially because it's Monday. I need a little pick me up. It was a very full weekend and the results speak for themselves. I turn 41 in two months and this is definitely everything I need in an eye treatment. Glow primer. I like to really overuse this product. I start it as if I'm using it as eye cream, like loading it up underneath my eyes. You can see you really can't have too much of it. So I really want to target the center of my face because anytime you have a product that has the ability to glow on the skin, it gives an illusion of scattering the light and, and a volume. I, if you start it in the middle of your face and then contour the outside of your face, it really gives your skin and your face like almost like a framing effect that the Kardashians definitely do very well. They like to call it contour, which I always hesitate to use that word specifically. I know people understand what it means very clearly, but there's just, over the last five years, people have really taken it on like, it's a very specific, almost like paint by numbers. You draw a line and you blend it in. And it's confused a lot of people because that's not really what contour was originally like the word contour refers to the contours of your face it doesn't mean dark product it means how do i make my face look more 3d i like to start everything with a little bit of tint creates a really nice priming opportunity and because there's so much skincare ingredients in this my makeup on top just looks more natural. I can use less of it, lasting a lot longer without ever looking heavy. And if I wear a lower cup top, I always make sure that I hit my decollete because you don't want everyone knowing all of your secrets. <laughs> I always start contouring my face by highlighting because the opposite of Contour is highlight and that is really what makes the contour look more effective A lot like eons ago. I worked with a makeup artist incredible makeup artist named Scott Barnes who was JLo's makeup artist and He was the one that originally taught me How to contour however, he called it the JLo glow and this is pearl stick right on the areas that I want to enlarge and bring forward. So including, I love stamping it in my eyes. I don't like wearing a lot of heavy concealer. I find that it just makes me look dry and not like how I want to look. So instead I use pearl stick to scatter the light, give the illusion of volume and just make me look more glowy. I love layers of glow that is my favorite when you, like it's like impossible amounts but it's small layers so it never looks chunky or like makeup it just looks like my skin is impossibly fresh i'm not gonna blend in the pearl before i add contour because i really want you to be able to see and i don't usually do the like tiger stripe contour then I like to use a product I made called light contour it's just about three shades darker than my skin tone 
very natural. Oh, I got a little bit of color this weekend. That's almost matching. However, it won't match my popsicle stick because uh, this area of your face is always the whitest, no matter how much color you get in the summertime. And so it gives the illusion of volume. That is definitely not what I want. So I like to add a little bit of light contour right underneath, and that's going to tuck everything up, including here and here. I also have a color called Warm Light that I'm not going to put it on full blast. I'm just going to use it as concealer and you can see now the 3D-ness of my face is going to start showing itself. And so I almost, if you think about creating a, a bit of a triangle, I like to bring it down in this area where my face is a little more flat. You can see from the side. So I'm giving the illusion that there's more volume there. I just like to use my hands. You can use a blender brush but your hands are faster and especially if you're using a contour color like light contour that's so natural you really can just mush it in with your hands and then of course just down onto my décolleté décolletage at this point I'll also look to see if I have any little guys like little pimps that I want to cover and I have one teeny tiny one on my forehead so I'll just use some of the warm light foundation stick to go in the area of my forehead because I have a little bit of a smaller forehead I'm using a lighter color if I was trying to minimize the look of my forehead I would use the darker color Let's add some color to my prepped skin. I'm using a color called Peachgasm by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is basically just more glow and a really pretty peach color. I'm going to aim it right underneath the pearl stick, right above the light contour. And I'm just going to use my hands to blend that in so it gives my skin an otherworldly glow. And I, everything I put on my cheeks, I like to bring up onto my eyelids as well. Sometimes on my lips. To set my contour, I'm going to use my Universal Bronze. It's basically just the color of a shadow. So it's not warm, it's not cool. It just makes your skin look like it's being tucked in. I also call this the rule of three. So this is the number three on the face and that's the area that I'm blending the bronzer. However, I don't really go very much on my forehead because I'm not trying to minimize my forehead at all. It's kind of like a mini forehead and you can see the difference. So if I look on this side, everything looks nice and tucked in. And then on this side, there's just a little bit more volume. Tuck that in, little like magic eraser. Get my popsicle stick. And if you really want to know exactly where your bronzer should be placed, I find most people put their bronzer just a little too low. You want to hit right where the top of the ball, that little bolly on your ear is, to the top of your mouth. If you were to draw a straight line, that's the predominance of your bronzer and then it should just be blended. You don't need like an actual tiger stripe. I also absolutely love to take my pinky. If you use your hands with product, it, you'll just get more of it. And you can see on this eye, it just looks like it's been lifted back. It looks a little more open. The whites of my eye look whiter and brighter and see this eye looks like a little bit sleepier because the lid looks like it has more volume. And I like to put my pinky like on the bone. I find that whenever I tell people to put it in their crease, they also don't really know where that is. And for everyone, it's a little bit different. So you want to aim right for that bone and go back and forth, which you can use a brush for this, but I didn't bring a brush out. So I'm using my pinky. <laughs> Just creates this really nice natural shadow. Rose gold, my favorite blush color. And I'm going to aim for my apple. So you want to smile, that's your apple, the part that pokes out the most. 
but I really do like blending blush into my bronzer. The finished goal is you won't be able to tell where my bronzer starts, my blush ends, my highlighter starts. It's just gonna look like I'm nice and flushed. And I always love using my hands to just melt the product and blend it further. I find that it becomes one with my skin when I do this. We're gonna set makeup. I'm using the Dual Action Powder Foundation. And this just, it shouldn't change the look of your makeup, in my opinion. You should just set. That means it's going to change the chemistry and it will look slightly more matte initially, but as your day goes on, specifically this powder foundation, because it's wet dry formula, as you get hot, the product will actually look more and more natural, but it won't budge. So I'm all set. I'm gonna start with a beautiful color liner, copper. So I wanna make my eyes look really green and bright. And this is a really great trick if you have any apprehension for liquid liner. Start with a really pretty, easy to use color like copper as a base. And then you're just going to enhance it with the liquid liner. I love putting eyeliner on with my eyes open. I always keep my chin close to the mirror and I keep my eyes open wide so you can see the white so that I can really do what's called tight liner and aiming it closer to the inside of the eye and elongating it the further I get to the end of my eye. I also really love using my pinky just to sharpen the edges gives it a little bit of a easy, breezy look, but nice and polished. And if you want to measure if your lines are straight, just use your pencil and you can really tell this one's a little bit. You're never gonna get them perfect right away, so don't stress. Now let's go for the liquid liner. So to do the liquid liner, you want to keep your chin close to the mirror, the exact same stance. I like to start with tight liner. So right underneath, aiming for the skin. And you can see right away how much bolder this eye looks. I'm going to keep the liquid liner pretty natural. You want to think about stamping the product rather than drawing a straight line. So I'm stamping it, stamping it, stamping it all across my lashes. And now I'll just mimic the line I already have. I'm happy with that. It doesn't need to be perfect. Especially because once I put mascara on, you'll just see the intention of it without it being... I find if people get too graphic and too perfect, it's distracting and all you see is eyeliner. I want people to see my eyes. Eyebrows next. I keep them very natural. I basically just put a little bit of brow tint. Just frames them a little bit more and keeps them in place for the day. I'm going to be using Mocha Waterproof Lip Liner, which is basically just the color of my lips, but better. It lasts all day. If you do like to overdraw your lips a little, the Waterproof Lip Liner is a gel, so it really looks very natural. And then my favorite makeout balm. This is just a really natural lip balm that has high shine. There's a very slight blue tint to it that make your lips look brighter and your teeth look whiter and it's very minty. So if you happen to be making out with someone, they will also thank me later. This is my natural Kardashian look and I'm ready to take on the day.